Well hi guys, Mark here and welcome again to Pool Moto here in the south of England and today we're going to be looking at the stunning Vosges R125. Stay tuned and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Well hi guys, Mark here and welcome today to a review on the Vosges R125. And as always, many thanks to Paul Moto for lending me this bike today. So we just run through all the specifications. Price on these, they're coming in at £2,799 plus the on the road charge. It's got a 125cc single cylinder double overhead cam liquid cooled four stroke engine putting out 14.7 horsepower at 9500 rpm and torque is 12 newton meters at 8500 rpm the engine just my initial impressions it's very smooth and it's um very free revving and makes a great sound as well obviously more of that later on it's got a 10 liter fuel tank and uh, from experience, these 125s are generally very economical. You should get around about 90 miles per gallon out of this. So it's going to be, you know, an, an easy 150 mile range out of this, I would have expected. Seats, very comfortable. It's got a really nice riding position, nicely padded. Easy to get a couple of hours riding out of that before you need a break. Um, 795 millimeter seat height. So if you just take a quick look at me on the bike in the cutscene, um, as a reference, I'm five foot seven, 170 centimeters, 30 inch inside leg. I weigh about 75 kilos. You can compare that for yourself then. Tires on this, we've got a 17 inch wheels front and rear, got a 110 section on the front there and a 140 section on the, on the rear, giving good grip. It's a very, very light machine, very light off the side stand and easy to push around. 136 kilograms wet weight. Very smooth shifting, positive, nice gearbox on it, six speeds. Uh, if you're interested in finance on these, you can have it for as little as £72 a month. You've got upside down forks up front, non-adjustable, giving a good sort of sporty ride but still nice and compliant over the bumps. And we've got a rear monoshock tucked up in there. single discs front and rear twin piston sliding caliper there ABS is standard which is nice particularly like the um, under slung exhaust the sound this makes is superb it does make the bike look good with that exhaust there got LEDs all round got a good looking front to it I particularly like these sort of side side lights here, LEDs, that's a nice touch. Top speed on this is going to be around about the 70 miles an hour mark, around about 110 kilometers an hour. These have 3,000 mile services, they're very cheap, straightforward to service. They come in this nice black and also a blue.
but it's a really nice looking bike nice fit and finish on it nice display there anyway let's do the test ride guys okay Vosge 125 let's try this out so off the side stand it's very light as you'd expect with a 125 it's a very compact riding position you know the bars are quite close so you do feel really sort of tucked in in it so it's a uh, really nice in that respect just run through all the controls all the usual generic sort of uh, switch gear that we see on so many of these chinese bikes these days headlight flasher high and low beam indicators horn over this side engine starter and engine kill switch nice and simple so it's got a really nice display color display there showing you all your revs, all your warning lights, speedo, clock, battery voltage, all your trips, fuel gauge and temperature gauge. Got a conveni convenient USB socket there which is a nice touch. So we'll just start her up. And uh, this engine sounds really good when you're on the move. It's got a lovely kind of air box roar that comes up from down below there. Anyway, let's try this out. It's a very nice light clutch, cable clutch. Easily into first. Nice that we've got a gear indicator. The clutch is biting nice and early and a very small, smooth pull away. Okay, so out on the road on the Vosges R125. And what a great performer this little bike is. I'll say straight off, this is probably the best performing 125 that I've ridden in many years that 14 and a half horsepower engine is so smooth and happy to rev and it makes a fantastic airbox induction roar from down below right then let's uh, just run through the bike in the usual way so we've got nice big mirrors I can see about 40% of my elbows quite a bit of my elbows in them but um, on the whole, a decent view behind. There's no vibrations, so that's fine. Really nice clocks there, display. Very bright. You can see revs, gear and speed all very easily. As I said earlier, the, um, the riding position on this is very, very compact. The actual distance from the bars to me is quite close, but that's, that's fine. It um, means a very nice, compact riding position. It's very, very upright. I've been on this bike this morning for about an hour and the seat is super comfortable. So there are no issues with that at all. But the handling on this Vosges is really good. It's very, very light. You couldn't have anything lighter really. And it's very, very precise. Responds to rider input really well. But so far, the um, it's the engine that impresses. Very smooth, very free revving. Even at the top end, you know, even at higher revs, um, there's no nasty vibrations that you can get with some of the um, lesser 125s. the switch gear is the usual sort of generic things that you see on so many of these Chinese bikes these days but that's all very tactile and easy to use the ride quality front and rear suspension it's set up on the sporty side which really does suit this bike because it's um you know it's a naked sort of sporty natured bike but it's not overly firm doesn't sort of like you know jolt your back or anything like that it's still nice and compliant for all the bumps all right we're just in town now just gonna check how the uh the Vosge handles lower speeds check the fueling so we're currently in third gear about 25 mile an hour exceptionally smooth i mean this engine is an absolute little peach it really is down to second obviously it's a beautifully easy to maneuver little bike into third again the fueling fuel injection is absolutely spot on 
there's no snatching in that at all into fourth very very impressively smooth this engine I would say one of the the best little uh, one two fives I've ridden for a long time so just purring along there there's no um, sort of hunting backwards and forwards in the fueling that's absolutely immaculate nice upright position obviously nice and a uh, good visibility mirrors are clear back brakes got a nice little bit of bite to it for control at low speeds down to third nice bit of pickup if you need it throttle response is a very mellow it's not snatchy or anything you don't want snatchy but yeah absolutely fine guys the fueling low speed running of the um, Vosges R125 is superb at the lower speed exceptionally comfortable as well I'll just see if I can get you to hear this air box roar makes a lovely induction roar it's really addictive so so far the uh, the Vosges 125 is a very impressive little bike it's well priced I mean if you compare it to say um, you know sort of like the Zontes I think they're about three and a half thousand so it does undercut those by quite a bit but I say it's a very keen performing bike sounds good the handling is extremely light and uh, flickable so just gently cruising along here around about 55 it's very happy indeed just trying to brakes out nothing behind so we've got ABS on this they're obviously bedding in but they're very good clutching gearbox it's a new bike but it's a uh, very very smooth and slick positive just going down the gears fifth fourth yeah it's all very easy and positive do like that display there lots of information there it's all very bright and easy on the eye the, the fueling all feels spot on So yeah, first impressions of the Vosges R125 are very good. If you were looking for a smart looking, good performing 125, try to have a go on one of these if you can. It's just like the combination of lightweight, really good handling around the bends, tyres feel good, even in these cold conditions. And that uh, very keen peppy little smooth 125 engine is superb can't feel any vibrations at all through the bars the seats all the foot pegs they've really done a good job with that down to fifth see how it pulls up this hill holding its own well up the hill the uh, leg position is quite compact slight, slightly back slightly sporty but it's all in keeping with this bike and the sort of like the sporty nature of it all in all it's a very comfortable riding position ok yes sir take a look round here so down the gearbox sounds really good with that airbox roar excellent 
all right just see what it's like into first and neutral all very easy just leave the engine running a little sound check for you let's have a look at these lights so leds all around i do like that there really nice let's flick it onto high beam Brilliant lights, no doubt they'll be good at night. And round the back here we have our indicators. Quite a cool looking rear tail unit, quite like that there. Superb guys. Right, so off the side stand, it's not a heavy bike, I think it's about 136 kilos, very light and easy to push about with a half decent steering lock it's all good all right let's take a look around the Vosges R125 so decent brakes nice and strong disc brakes front and rear they work really well excellent suspension no problems with it at all gives it kind of like a sporty nature sporty feel to it but it's still pretty compliant do like this black colour scheme, it's also available in the blue. That engine is superb, very smooth, uh, free revving, um, powerful enough to sort of hit a top speed of about 70 miles an hour. So yeah, five stars for that little motor there, great. All the paintwork, fit and finish is okay. Quite like that swing arm. Particularly like that exhaust, underslung like that, looks really cool, shows off all the swing arm. Um, I have looked under the seat, unfortunately there's no storage under there whatsoever. Tyres all seem fine to me. Yeah, a very very good fun, cool looking 125 guys, if you're in the market for one of these or you just want like a fun runabout, I would definitely have a look at one of these. Uh, I have ridden all the other Vosges models and they're all very impressive, the 350 is decent as well. But yeah, that is um, probably one of the, the best performing little 125s I've ridden uh, in the past few years. So anyway guys, please don't forget to post your comments down below, give me a like, share and subscribe, and I'll review another bike in a week or so for you. Ride safe guys, all the best, and bye for now.